mask as mouse and I'm back for another video. Uh, day is still Friday, September 25th, and I actually didn't go to the class I was going to go to, but my dad was feeling a little off today, so I stayed with him longer, and he seems to be doing okay now. He was just uh, super tired this morning, which is really weird because usually... I get up at 7.30 and wake him up and we have breakfast. Today I actually slept a little later than normal and I had woke him up at 8 o'clock to get breakfast and he was just completely tired out for some reason. I don't know if it's the pills or what, but he got up and uh, sat down to the breakfast table and... Uh, he wasn't very talkative or joking like he normally is. He was really... You could tell if you looked at him, he was pretty much uh, using every fiber in him to keep himself awake and sit there. And he actually sat there from a couple minutes after 8, because after 8 it took a, takes him a minute or two to come out to the kitchen, of course. Since he's 97, he doesn't move very fast, so yeah. Um, so anyway, you see, had come out the table at 8, so it's probably 8, 2 or 8, oh, 3. And, and he uh, sat down at the table, which is actually over here, but I'm not going to move this because I I think it's set up pretty good right now, so I don't have to be moving it. And he sat there from, I'll give him an extra few minutes and say it was 8.05. Okay. So we'll say he sat down at the table at 8.05, so I didn't really look at the exact time. But I knew it was after 8 because I had woke him up at 8 o'clock. So anyways, he sat down at the table and... He was doing this number, kind of bobbing his head with the fighting to stay awake, kind of bobbing, head bobbing. And he took some of his pills, which he's supposed to take some, before he goes to eat his breakfast. And he ended up not eating and refused to take the rest of his pills and he went and laid down. And then... A little while later, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little while later, sorry, he came back out when his health aide had come here to give him a shower, and then he did eat, and took the rest of his pills like he was supposed to, and it was still morning, so that was good, but, uh, even then, he was a little tired, but not as much as he was this morning, so that's at least good. And then now, he's doing okay. Uh, he was just coughing a little bit, as you heard, but that happens occasionally, and that's something he's already talked to one of his healthcare professionals about, and... They're not super worried about it right now as long as he's keeping up with his medications and doing what he needs to do, which is eat regularly, keep hydrated, and that's about it. And as far as eating goes, he can have almost anything he wants, as much as he wants. There are a few things I want him to eat more of, and there's some things I want him to shy away from a little bit. But it's mostly pretty simple. I mean, it's like salt. They want him to be careful with salt. Which, of course, isn't healthy to eat a lot of salty things anyway, so. Yeah. And then. You can have all the fruits and vegetables you want, you can eat meat, no problems. As long as he's able to chew it, which is another thing. Some of his meals on wheels he complains he can't chew. 
So when that happens, I usually make them something else. Sometimes he refuses me to do that because he eats uh, sandwiches or something instead of actually having him cook him a meal, which is okay because usually his meals on wheels are for lunchtime. So if he wants a peanut butter sandwich at his age, which is 97, he can have a damn sandwich. I mean, if that's what he wants, then he can have it. It doesn't go against anything that he's supposed to be doing dietary wise and uh, if he wants a sandwich occasionally, he should be allowed to have a sandwich. Um, I do cook uh, meals for him and sometimes breakfast depending on what he wants. He likes to uh, eat. Honey bunches of oats a lot for breakfast, which is just cereal. And then uh, sometimes I make breakfast, and if I make breakfast, he'll eat it. But sometimes I'll go to make breakfast, and he'll tell me not to make breakfast unless I'm making something for myself because he don't want it. He just wants his honey bunches of oats, which if that's what he wants. That's fine. It's actually really good because they want him to eat a little more uh, iron, and it's got perfect iron for the whole day. So, if he wants that, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I have no problem cooking him a meal, but if he wants cereal, I'm not going to tell him, well, you can't have that, you have to eat this. His diet's not supposed to be that restricted, so if he wants it, he can have it. I mean, at 97, if he wants a bowl of cereal, he wants a sandwich, or if he wants a steak dinner, he should be able to have it. I mean, it shouldn't really matter too much what he wants, as long as it's not gonna hurt him anyway. Let him have it. That's just the way I look at it, anyways. Um, I didn't get to mention it yesterday, I don't think, but I did the Nia dance uh, exercise. That was at 8:15 in the morning, and that was pretty awesome. I actually thought this morning it was going to be again, and when I woke up late, I'm like, oh, crud, I want to do that again. That was kind of fun. It was good to get up and get moving, and it's good for me to move around more than uh, just sitting around. So I hurries up and gets dressed, and then I look at my uh, phone, and it's not on the home screen, which I'll show, which I can probably show you that for the home screen. It'll have at least two things for the uh, calendar, and that wasn't on there, which it should have been. So, I'm like, what the heck? So I looked at the calendar, and, oh yeah, it's not today. There was yoga today, I might do that, and then I ended up not doing that, because my dad wasn't feeling quite right, and I wanted to make sure he had something on his stomach, so I waited. And, it was after 11.28, and... The yoga starts at 10.45, so I didn't make that. I mean, I could have went, but since it was after 11, I wouldn't have had enough time to do much, and it would be kind of awkward because I'd be interrupting the class that I haven't been to before, and yeah. That's if they'd let me get a ticket for it. So I didn't want to do that. But I at least got to spend some time with my dad, and then, of course, 
this afternoon he was feeling less tired and we played some cards, so that was good. And, yeah, my hair looks crappy, but I did brush it. It just wants to do its own thing today, so please don't mind. Uh, that didn't help any. But yeah. But yeah. This phone is actually an old Blackberry from like 2005. But, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, I don't really mind. It's at least a phone. I can call my dad's nurse if I need to. I can do stuff like that. I don't need a phone with internet, per se, because I know, I know a lot of people think, oh, you have to have a phone with internet, you have to have this, you have to have that, which... For me, not really. I mean, when I do do applications, I do them on a computer if I can't do them in person. So, in that case, if I wanted to apply for something that didn't have a paper application, I would, in fact, just go to the library. So, yeah. But, uh, I'm not going to do that today. Maybe another day. Uh, for other reasons, I do have to uh, get some reading done, so that'll be good. Um, anyways, back to the Ni Nia class. That's N I A and dance exercise. Um, I really like the music they selected. Um, they did a couple of Asian songs. Which were just some uh, instrumentals. They did some Irish guys singing. These were all recordings, of course, but yeah. And they did some other random stuff. I actually want to check out some of the Irish guys that were singing. Some of their songs were kind of cool, so. Yeah, let's go get me an Irishman. <laughs> well, no. Like, the, like you were thinking, but like. At least the music recordings, which will be good. Um, I'm not hating, so don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to say I'd only be interested in someone if they're a certain nationality or live in a certain part of the world or something. I mean, if they're close to me, I'd rather have that. But I'm not an Irish. Or in Ireland, sorry. Oh, my brain's a little bit of a fog right now. But yeah, I'm not in Ireland. And I don't know any single straight guys in Ireland, so yeah. And what else? Um, I did my Tai Chi, so that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I have to wait a couple days to be able to do that again, but if I can, I am going to definitely get in the pool again because that was awesome. It felt great. And, yeah. So. That was going to be good. Um, the pool was warm, but not too warm. I don't know how they did it because usually when I get in a pool, which has been a while, it cold at first and then my body has to get used to the temperature but when I got in the pool there it was just an instant uh, nice feeling it wasn't too cold it wasn't too warm it was just right and that was awesome I don't know if I just haven't been in the pool in a long time or it's something that happens with the in-ground pools inside so, yeah, that's actually the first inside pool I've been in a long time. Um, I did have swimming lessons when I was a little kid, so there was that. But since being an adult, I've never before this been able to go into an in-ground pool inside. I have been in outside in-ground pools, and that's... Okay, um, I haven't actually owned one, but 
I have some friends in New York who have one, um, which is, it's kind of cool, um, my sister and I have used it a couple times, but, uh, we have given stuff for pool maintenance. It wasn't just, so. Uh, oh, I feel like going in the pool, I'm going in the pool now. Which, actually, they do have some people that they know that are actually like that, and, uh, They'll actually bring their kids over, and these are little kids, and then not watch them and have one of them watch the kid while they enjoy the pool or other adults' company. And I was like, really? And the reason why I say really, because they never uh, give anything to help out with pool maintenance or anything. And they just say, oh, hey, I'm coming over. I'm going to use your pool. Uh, or, hey, I'm coming over. My kids would like to use the pool. It's not an ask. It's a, I'm going to use the pool or my kids are going to use the pool. Which, I personally find that a little rude, but I don't say anything because it's not my place. And they can handle it however they feel comfortable handling it, but I personally wouldn't go to someone and say, hey, I'm, or actually call someone and be like, hey, I'm coming over to your house and using your whatever, whether it be a pool, or their TV, or computer, or uh, anything. I wouldn't be like, hey, I'm... I'm going to just call someone up and be like, hey, I'm coming over to your house. I'm going to use this stuff. I might call and say, hey, are you going to be there a while? On such and such a day, would it be possible for me to come over and use your da-da-da-da-da? Or could I please use your da-da-da-da at such a time or something? Or if I'm over there... And I see something I might say, hey, can I use your such and such? But I wouldn't just say, I'm going to use this, or just show up out of the blue, or call and say, hey, I'm coming over, don't go anywhere, I'm going to use this. Which, really, that's their deal, they can handle it however they want. I'm just saying, I personally wouldn't feel comfortable being like that. But sadly, there's a lot of people in the world that are like this to other people. And I wouldn't feel comfortable if someone was doing this to me, but right now I don't really have anything that's super exciting to you. So yeah. I mean, I have some movies. I have the Wii and the 3DS. I have a radio, but I don't have internet, I don't have one of the newest systems, I don't have a pool, which would be really nice if this apartment complex did have a pool, but I probably wouldn't use it because people around here don't watch their kids, and I'd feel nervous with that. And especially the fact that even if they're trained sw and good swimmers or someone's around. Well, like if they had a lifeguard or something on duty at certain times when the pool's open. I couldn't handle being around kids when in the pool. And it's... There is the fact that some of them will jump in and that kind of makes me nervous. Because... Especially if they're getting towards the shallow end, then you're like, oh, don't do that. I don't want to see you crack your skull open or something. Uh, which that has happened at my friend's house. They have to, one of them usually stays out there and has to make sure kids aren't jumping in the shallow end. Because they will dive in the shallow end. And, of course, it's not safe, even for a kid. But kids don't always think of these things. That's why it's good to have a 
responsible parent or teenager around that can say, hey, you can't do that. If you want to jump, you can jump from the deep end, which you can either jump off the sides if you want on the deep end or you can use the diving board. But don't jump on the shallow end because it's not safe. And another thing that, that I don't usually uh, like about being around kids in pools is the fact that they like to splash and I can't deal with splashing for a couple of reasons. Um, I'm already super sensitive when I'm in the water because I'm a little uncomfortable in the water because I almost drowned and I can't stand water splashing in my face where someone's throwing it in my face or something even if the kids aren't doing it on purpose they're just splashing around and it hits me in the face I can't handle that um that's one thing I really hated about the last time I was in the hospital their showers were horrible I mean they were clean but that wasn't my issue. My issue was it was unadjustable. And I was just at the right and I'm just at the right height. That when I'd stand in the shower, if I faced the shower, it would be in my face. And I couldn't deal with that. But that's the shower they had in the room. So that was very uncomfortable. And even though I don't mind taking showers most of the time, so don't get me wrong. I mean, it's pretty healthy to shower at least a little bit. But when you're a little hydrophobic and you don't like water going directly in your face, then you don't want to shower that you can't adjust, cannot adjust. And it automatically goes in your face no matter what you do if you're facing it. Um, now for some people this wouldn't be a big problem, or it might just be a small irritant, but being the fact that I almost drowned and that I don't like even splashing around me, and I'm a little hydrophobic, so I don't like water in my face, uh, like someone throwing water in my face or a shower hitting me in the face. I mean, if I'm in a shallow pool like I was yesterday and I dunk myself, like I'll be sitting there and then there. that's fine, but I don't like someone to splash around me or uh, hang on me or anything. Actually, as a kid, there was another kid that knew I uh, wasn't much of a swimmer and didn't like to uh, be in too deep of water, who actually, knowing that I had almost drowned too, they still thought it would be cool to uh, come up by me and push me under and hold me under for a couple minutes or a couple seconds, whatever. I'm not sure how long it actually was, but I freaked out, and they were like, why are you freaking out? It's no big deal. I'm like, yeah, when you almost drown, so that is a big deal to be held underwater. Um, I was actually an older kid at the time, but I still hadn't gotten over almost drowning, and now I'm 27, and I'm still not completely past that, so if there's kids around... I'm not going to be in the pool, but at least when these classes go on, kids are not allowed around, and since it's a Tai Chi, it's usually slow movements, and nobody is super splashing around. Um, even if it's on the other end of the pool, which this pool is a pretty good sized pool, and, well... Actually, it would be that part. Of the part of the pool where the class was is about four feet deep, so it's deep enough for me. I can still 
keep above water if I want. And if I feel uh, like I'm going to start losing too much air or something, I can always stand up. Um, some parts of the pool are actually a little shallower, so that's good. Um, what's nice is there's a uh, uh, wade area. I'm, yeah. There actually is two pools there, which one I'll probably never use because it's a competition pool. And I haven't looked at it, but I'm pretty sure if it's a competition pool, the water's going to be over my head somewhere. So, since I'm a non-swimmer, pretty much, I mean, I can do a little bit in the shallow water. But I'm not super confident, and I don't feel comfortable in uh, water that's over my head. I go. Oh, someone's here. I'll talk to you later.